Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have super helper Ellie with us, don't we Elle? She is currently doing all the work while I'm filming, so it's always good when that happens. Absolutely incredible week this week. We have been to Derbyshire show and we went came away with Breed Champion once again, so absolutely can't believe it. Never done it before and then we do it twice in a row, so this year has been a good year. We got Yorkshire then in a couple of weeks, but that is a very big and very hard show. So not too many high expectations. Whatever happens, happens. But today, the reason we've got the wrapper is because we're clicking all the ewes and lambs. So that is the plan. We need to get this spot on onto them just to avoid any problems with flies. We'll explain a bit more about it as we get onto the video. But hope you enjoy it. What do you do, Alice? You like the video? That is it. So do that guys and I hope you enjoy. Right, so we have set the wrapper up. We have got 204 to use. We have a Josie. We have an Ellie, we have a me, and we have a drone. So fingers crossed, we can get these used in. If we can't get them in one go, it don't matter, because what we'll do, we'll just push them through the system and out into the next field and round. So we'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed, we can get them all in one go. It's a big tester for Josie, because it's the first time I've used her on the big flock of use. So, Jose, here. Are you gonna do well today? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a feeling well. Well, what can I say? Josie, you're actually getting better, aren't you? Come on. Just camera shy. Are you camera shy? Hello. You're good at this, aren't you? You've actually improved a lot. She used to go crazy, but you can calm him down a little now, but that is all the use in. We had one little hiccup, 10 ran off at the very end, but they easily walked back in with the help of Miss over here, didn't you? Until she, Until she, yeah, she went and disappeared and hid under the truck. Don't know why, but that is it. So they're in and we're ready to crack on and get going. We are also looking for a couple of very nice shearlings in here that will go to Yorkshire show. So that is something that we're not going to worry too much about. But for now, we'll get the click out, which is in here. This is click. And basically what this is, is we spray it on the back of the sheep and it stops them from getting fly strike. Right, so we're all set up, ready to go. I've got my click gun. So these are a bit smaller than a lot of guns because you need to do a certain amount of strikes in different places. But just gonna check the dosage now. So dosage is there, if you can see. So these are all over 50 kilos. So they need 36 mil each. And as they have four blows of a spray each, they need nine mil times four. So. Just gonna adjust this so if you just twist it and you want up to the nine mil there because this is very expensive stuff. This is over 200 pound a bottle for five liters. So you, every mil you save, I think if you give four mil per sheep extra, that's a lot of money you're gonna waste. So want nine mil. Right, so when we're clicking them guys, what we're trying to do, we're doing four strikes, nine mil a strike. So what we do is one on its back there, one there, then one up each leg. It is crucial that you do it like that because some people do it a bit like Crovex and just try and get a fan across its back. But because this is a hormone, it's not actually a chemical. So what it does, it makes the maggot when it's born not have a mouthpiece so it won't eat the sheep. So Ellen Co have designed it to be sprayed on in this way, not the same way as Crovex, which is something quite cool that I found out over the last six months. So a couple of people have been chatting to. But yeah, just like this, as I say, four squirts. If you look on the back of the bottle too, it'll say exactly the same.
Come on, girls. Right, oh guys, so that is the use all done. They are all looking lovely and pink. We decided to do this last batch in here because we managed to get them tight enough. And it was getting a pain to them in the little pen because we couldn't get enough in at once. So we'll let them all out and then we're going to head up to the lambs and get them done too. So out they go. Righto, so we are off again, but now we are down at the lambs. We've got Josie out again. If you could see from the drone shots at the start of the video, she did absolutely amazing at the start. Didn't you, Jose? Aren't you looking happy? But yeah, this is the first time she had a proper day out working big groups of sheep. So 204 to use, over 200 lambs now. Usually we'll use her for pushing a few stuff about, but she had a good day today. Really happy with how she's coming on. But now the big test is, is she can get these lambs in. Come on, Joe, show us what you're made of. Good girl. Right, show a team talk. Right, what you, no, no. We're having a team talk here. What, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Yeah, you're gonna go round to the left. Yeah, and you're gonna get them all in. And then you can have a belly scratch, yeah? Yeah, right, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Go on, go on, go on. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, Joyce. Stay, stay, stay. Stay there, stay there. Go, Josie, go, 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 go. Good girl, good girl, she's coming to you. She's coming. Good girl, Joyce. Stay, stay. Good girl, stay there. Here, come here. Come here, Joyce. Come here. Here, here, here. Here, here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Stay, stay. Come here, come here. Joyce, here. Here. Here, here, come on. Come on, girl. Good girl, they're in. Good girl, doing a good job. Good girl. Good girl, sit down, sit down. Clever girl, clever, yes, scratch now. Good girl. You absolutely smashed it, Joe, didn't she, Elle? Maybe someone here was giving her a scratch and a couple got out afterwards, but we'll forget about that bit, won't we? So we are off again, but this is going to work a little bit different this time, guys. So we are clicking everything in the weigh crate because I need to know what weights they are because there's fat lambs in here. And the click has a withdrawal of, I think, 40 days. We'll just check that. There we have. Withdrawal periods of 40 days. So I was right. So basically just over a month. So we don't want to be doing anything that's a fat lamb that's 37 kilos or more. That gives us a bit of leeway, so the heavier lambs won't get done and they'll get going in the next few weeks. But as usual, when we're weighing, we'll scan the tags, see what they're weighing like. Obviously, ewe lambs will get done. That's why I want to do ewe lambs, because they're not going to get sent away. So I'm going to get cracking, but I thought I'd bring you over, guys, because I'm just so happy with how these lambs are looking. So if you look across these, they look so consistent. The 20 I've weighed so far, they're weighing between... 30 and 50 kilos. These are three fat lambs I've picked out so far, but looking really, really well. There's no little small ones, it's really consistent, apart from obviously there's a couple of cades. So the ones with blue bums there, they're just a little bit little, but that's what cades are. Whew. Let's talk what we're doing. So there's one that jumped in, what I'm doing. That is 27.8 kilos. And because it's less than 37 kilos, I don't need to check the sex, just Boom, 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 boom. And that one's done. Off it can go out into the field. So if anything is over 37 kilos, it's going in here to be looked at again. On top of that, really, that's fairly simply what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look who's here, the boss has arrived. Are you ready for helping? Sofa's been absolutely smashing it, pushing them up. And we've just been in the zone, so I haven't filmed too much. But if so, if you push those round. Smashed it. My arms aren't big enough to do that on my own. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right, under 37 kgs. One, two, fancy gaps there. One, two, out you go. Go on, mate. Here you go. 38.8. You are. One, two, three, four. Go. Strong line. How many left so? One, two, three, four left. Four left. It is a you. Go, mate. Out you go. Gone. And that is us done. So all we have to do now is mark these fat lambs out and we're going to pick out any of these that are awake to go. Joseph's still keen to work. Here, get to you. Sit, 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 sit. Good girl, yeah, certainly can. You too, yeah, you sit too. Right, yeah, like I was saying, we want to put a black mark on all these so now they're all fat lambs. And then, that is just done. Go in there. Go on, lamb, out you go. Well, that is them all dealt with, guys. We've marked everywhere a black spot that is over 37 kilos, but not quite fit enough to go this week. So that's ideal. They're going to get crow vectored. The reason we use that is because it's got an eight day withdrawal, whereas Click has got 40 days. So all of these are going to be ready before that 40 day. And the crow vet lasts eight weeks. So it kind of works a bit better and it's a lot cheaper. So these are actually the eight fat lambs that we've picked out, looking really smart. All these are above 43 kilos. And I'm not gonna lie, they feel like tabletops. That is a hellish pen. If I took them to market, I'd be wanting awards for them. <laughs> Only joking, but yeah. I'm going back to grab some Crovect and we're gonna fill up the Crete feeder because all these need a little bit of Crete. They're getting two bags a day at the moment, which is about 200 grams a day. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I explained why we use Click over Crovect at times. Basically, it's got 19 week lasting it's about three times the price of crovex but it works itself out with the labor saved with getting them all in etc but obviously some situations mean like these they are going to be going to the abattoir slash butchers within the next four weeks so you don't want to click them because else you won't be able to kill them so basically hope that all explains that hope you enjoyed it guys if you did please tap that like button subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.